Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be touching base on the cost of living adjustment, um, potentially moving into 2024. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button because it helps the algorithm um, tremendously and pushes uh, the videos of the channel out to other people looking for similar information. So thank you if you're a subscriber. Um, okay, so here we are at Social Security's uh, uh, site, their page about cost of living adjustments. As you can see, this is the one for 2023. Um, for those that don't know, the government's fiscal year on how they do everything, is it's not a standard calendar year like January to December. Um, the fiscal year for the federal government starts in October, ends in September. Okay, so normally it's the third, uh, well, really, the maybe the end of the third where they start talking about stuff, and normally everything gets approved or voted on in the fourth quarter of the year. Um, it's usually like a November, December um, time frame, unless there's some sort of continuing resolution. Um, a continuing resolution is where they're not, it, basically they're still negotiating kind of what's what and trying to pull votes for whatever they want to do for the upcoming um, calendar year. Um, so here you could see, primarily why I pulled up this page is because it shows the historical um, cost of living adjustments. So as you can see, starting in 75 and going, um, this last one was in 2023. Um, the cost of living adjustment is decided, uh, prime, uh, well, I should say a primary factor is the um, CPIW, the Consumer Price Index, um, having to do with wages and things like that. Um, and you can see, again, it starts in uh, 74, going into 75, and here's the latest, and it's, this gets updated, you know, kind of month by month. Um, the projected, you know, kind of what all the analysts are saying right now is, um, based off of last year versus this year, um, the COLA will be somewhere between two and 4%, um, is what they're estimating. What I'll say on this, right, because you might read a bunch of articles from, you know, senior magazines, um, uh, and other, you know, publications, you might hear it on the news, get talked about. And when I worked for Social Security, this is what I would normally tell people. Unless you're watching C-SPAN and you see it get approved on the floor of, you know, Congress, the Senate, and then go through, um, you know, all the normal channels, until you see it get voted on and approved, um, everything is really just, you know, a guess, basically, on what's going to happen. But based off of the CPIW, um, it gives you an approximate guesstimation, we'll say, on, on what it's going to be. And, and most everybody is saying between 2 to 4%. Um, it kind of depends on what um, this quarter is going to bring, the third quarter is going to bring, to really solidify, um, you maybe narrow down that percentage there, because that's still between, you know, 2% difference is, is kind of a pretty big number. And then you could see uh, last year was, was, I believe, the most, one of the most significant um, cost of living adjustments to ever happen. And my eyes are kind of going to, the, you know, these two here in 79 and 80. Aside from last year, I think those are the two biggest, at least based on, uh, you know, percentage points. So that's kind of it for the video, kind of short. I um, hope you were able to get something from it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your bell notifications so that you're always notified whenever I'm posting new content. If you have a question or want me to cover another topic, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to address it as soon as possible. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.